Hey Magic Can Makeup Lovers, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I am feeling super creepy right now. <laughs> Can you blame me? I mean, oh my god, I don't think I've ever looked that creepy. I mean, dolls are creepy. Kids in horror movies are creepy. Chucky is a kid doll with a knife and red hair, and red hair is not creepy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> that came out really wrong. He's got wounds. He's just super creepy. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here again and welcome if you are new Please join my little YouTube family by clicking the red subscribe button and the little bell So you don't miss any of my new videos which this month are coming up every day for 31 days It's crazy and it's just for you guys. So make sure you come back tomorrow for another Halloween makeup I'm gonna let you watch the tutorial now the whole transformation and I will see you at the end I feel so creepy. <laughs> ah, I'm excited about this Chucky makeup. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to moisturize. You want to take care of your skin before you ruin it with paint and makeup. Okay, now I'm using a primer because I want the makeup to last longer and all the pigments to uh, be more vivid, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to block out my eyebrows because Chucky's eyebrows are, well, first of all, they're ginger and they're very different from mine. The shape is, they look more arced and let's say it creepy. So mine are not gonna work for this makeup. So to block out your eyebrows, you're gonna need a glue stick and a sponge like this and a simple compact powder, preferably a cheap one because the sponge and the glue might ruin it a little bit. So yeah, don't use it a very, don't use a very expensive powder. Now we can put on the foundation. I'm using a liquid, fo liquid foundation and a beauty blender. Okay, now I'm using loose powder to set the foundation. Now I'm using a lip crayon, it doesn't really matter the color as long as it's not green or I guess blue. And we are going to draw all the, the cuts on his face. Okay, now before we go back to the wounds, we are going to contour the face and make it look like more Chucky's. I'm going to use a contouring palette. Okay, I'm going to shape his crazy eyebrow here and on this side he doesn't have eyebrows anymore because he has a big wound and the eyebrow's gone. So for the eyebrow here, I'm first going to apply cream concealer and then I will put powder on top of the concealer. Okay, now I'm gonna work on this eye and I'm going to apply a base so I can put on all the eyeshadows. Okay, now for the uh, lid, I'm going to use a pink eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it really roughly. This is not a beauty makeup, so don't worry about it not being pretty. He just has these pink, red looking eyes because he's a murderer, so he probably never sleeps because all he thinks about is killing people. So yeah, put some pink all around your eye. Okay, now if you want to look even more creepy and murderous and, and crazy, put on red crayon on your waterline. 
Now I'm going to use a brown crayon. I'm going to make his light, his eyes look puffy and really sunken, like he hasn't slept at all ever. <laughs> I'm going to create a uh, a crease a crease above mine, and then I'm going to make it look like I have you know like bags here. Now with a brush, I'm going to soften those lines. Because my crayon doesn't look dark enough, I'm going to use a black eyeliner and darken the inside of the lines. Okay, now let's do the other eye, the one that is super wounded and bloody and disgusting. And we are going to start by sketching the shape of the eye with the same lip crayon that I used to sketch the wounds. Okay, now let's fill in the wound with red paint. Okay, now I'm going to set the red paint with this dark burgundy brick color and then I will, and then you will see. <laughs> okay, now let's enhance the sunken eye effect with black eyeshadow. This is starting to look creepy and cool. I'm going to darken the edges of or the inside of the hole with a black eyeliner and super thin tip. Tip? The tip? Is it a tip? I don't know. Sometimes I just forget words. I have a hard time explaining what I do. <laughs> super frustrating for me. And now this time for the waterline, here I'm going to use a black crayon. And now with a white eyeliner, I'm going to make the eyes shine a little bit because I'm supposed to be a doll and I'm supposed to be made of plastic, so just a little bit of white here and there. Okay, now I want to move on to the nose and the mouth. I'm going to start by contouring them so they look more like Chucky's. So he has a really tiny nose and, and everything is very close together, but this is not what I went for. I'm going to use my own features and transform them a little bit so they remind you of Chucky. I'm going to highlight the nose here, the folds, with white eyeliner. <laughs> so creepy. I think I'm ready to move on to the lips. I'm going to start by uh, sculpting them and contouring them with eyeshadows. So I'm going to shape the lips with a, uh, I think a liquid lipstick.
So his lips are much, much smaller than mine, and they look creepy. When you do that kind of stuff, you got to imagine that your face is a canvas, it's flat, and you just draw over them, over it, trying to give him this weird smile. And now with cream concealer, I'm going to shape the lips even more and highlight them. Okay, now let's darken. Oh my god, I look so disgusting. <gasps> This is hilarious. Oh my god, look at my mouth. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna darken around the mouth now to shape it more. It's crazy what makeup can do, right? And now I'm going to use black eyeshadow to darken even more. Okay, now let's finish the contouring of the face. I want to have more shadows under my eyes and uh, what else? Maybe a bit more on my forehead. And then I will highlight again and finish the makeup with all the, the cuts and lips. I, I can't believe this is me. Okay, I'm almost finished. I'm going to now do the wounds and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over the lines that I drew at the very beginning of the tutorial and I'm using red paint. Okay, now I'm going to use red eyeshadow and I'm going to make the wounds look like they're infected by applying the powder on the edges of the cuts. Now I'm going to make the cuts and wounds look deeper and old with black eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use a black eyeliner and I'm going to go over the black, um, not the black, I'm going to go over the edges to make the wounds and cuts look deeper and more realistic. Now with cream concealer I'm going to highlight the wounds. Okay, now with a black eyeliner, I'm going to draw all the stitches. Now with brown eyeshadow and a round tip uh, brush, I'm going to create a shadow at the base of the stitches. Now I'm going to give my stitches a 3D effect with white eyeliner. Okay, I'm finished, almost. I'm going to put on last brush strokes and touches of light and shadow. I'm starting with the white highlighter, I mean white um, eyeliner. Okay, almost done. I'm going to put on the wig. I hope it's good. I mean, it looks like a good quality wig. The hair is really nice. 
it's really soft and shiny. I just hope that the haircut fits Chucky. I'm going to try to put it on and then I will have to put on my blue contacts, which by the way, I forgot to tell you, it's a very important thing. If you are going to wear contacts for this look, you want to put the contacts at the very beginning of your makeup. Don't do like me. The reason I'm not putting them at the beginning is because I am not allergic to contacts, but I have a hard time with them. My eyes are very sensitive. And I've had too many bad experiences with contacts while doing a makeup. And I didn't want to be partially blind while painting myself. So I'm going to put them at the very end, but you don't want to do that. Put them on before. Okay, so, <laughs> oh, this is funny. Um, so right now, I don't want the hair to be, <laughs> I don't want the hair to be in my face, but we have a problem. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna, gonna do this off camera because it's a bit hard right now. I'm going to try and make the hair look a bit more messy and a bit crazy. So freaking creepy. I just took a picture. It's the best. Okay, I'm going to put on the blue contacts and then I will be finished. <laughs> Wish me luck. It was on my eye, but not for very long. <laughs> Think they are. Maybe they hurt me. Maybe they are upside down. <laughs> really. If you put on contacts and they hurt you, try the other way around. Maybe you also have something in your eye, but sometimes they are not put the right way. stop saying that I'm finished but it's just in case you guys are desperate with my long videos at least now you know that I am finished for good <laughs> I hope you had fun watching this tutorial I had a hell of a good fun a hell of a good fun that that's not English a hell of a good time <laughs> turning into Chucky <laughs> I'm so creepy <laughs> anyway <laughs> thank you for watching and see you tomorrow with another Halloween makeup bye